Who is Bitcoin Jesus and why is the IRS going after him? We're going to talk about that in today's video as well as an update on what the heck is happening with CZ and his sentence and has CZ been calling it all along? Who does he know and who is his defense lawyer team? These are all things that we're going to worry about. But let's talk about Bitcoin Jesus, a.k.a. Roger Ver. Uh, for those, here's a brief introduction. He's called Bitcoin Jesus because he did amazing efforts towards getting Bitcoin adopted by anyone that he, he came across in the very early days of Bitcoin when no one knew what Bitcoin was. He was gifting it to people. He was encouraging people to use it as a means of payment. He was educating people about it. When he moved to Japan, he formed one of the first Bitcoin meetups in Japan. He renounced his U.S. citizenship in 2014. That served as a huge point of inspiration for Toby and I in our own pursuit of freedom. Um, actually putting our actions instead of words, you know, actions speak louder than words. Renouncing our U.S. citizenship was a huge effort in Rogers and Toby and I's uh, efforts for finding freedom definitely within the cryptocurrency space that is proving quite fruitful but what's happening now is the IRS is pursuing Roger Ver in fact he's been arrested in Spain possibly to be extradited to the United States to the tune of owing 48 to 50 million dollars in taxes apparently what had happened is that although he renounced in 2014 he still had US based companies that were holding bitcoin which he sold and failed to report the profits from now in 2017 note that it was very early days for the US government trying their best to, to label Bitcoin or whatever it was. There was no regulation. There certainly was zero clarity in terms of reporting Bitcoin gains on your tax forms. So there's definitely some leeway for him in this time frame. But regardless, it's been how many years later and they're coming to get it. Of course, $50 million, that's probably enough for them to uh, try to get as much as they can from Roger. Now, what's most disappointing is that there are some people who are very influential on crypto Twitter who are seeing this news as a good thing. They're, should I say a name? I don't know if I should say a name. Dan Held, quite disappointing. And quite frankly, the, the comments that have uh, been posted under his tweet says enough. Eric Voorhees uh, doing a great job as well. And Toby, Toby had a great one. But Dan Held basically shared a, a headline, Roger Ver arrested for tax evasion, mail fraud, filing false tax returns. And then he said, good, he has been a net negative for Bitcoin. So basically he deserves this good riddance. Um, I think Dan has lost touch with reality of why Bitcoin was created in the first place. The systems that it was designed to disrupt is the very systems that Dan is now cheering on to punish one of the best people that helped realize all of us, you know, what Bitcoin is. Toby's epic response. If you can follow Toby on Twitter at SirCryptoTips, highly recommend. Then you'll see these kind of replies. He says, just erase this status nonsense, Dan. You're better than that. And if you go through uh, the replies in the comments of this tweet from Dan Held, he says basically how Roger was attacking him personally, trying to turn people against him, trying to get him fired. And so obviously there's some emotional, personal effect effect that Roger has had on Dan to the point where Dan is now cheering him on that he has been arrested for tax evasion, which in the U.S. is a huge allegation that could be very, very detrimental for Roger's freedom, to say the least. Dan, Dan eventually, even in the comments, said something like, well, I paid my taxes correctly, so... And, and, and Eric Voorhees had a reply to something very skeptical, obviously, or sarcastic, I should say, saying, yeah, that's a real cypherpunk's attitude. Good for you, Dan. You paid your taxes. Again, here's the point, and there's wherever that guy is. It's like <laughs> you got you to gotta remember who the, con who the common enemy is. It is fiat, regardless if it's Bitcoin Cash, if it's Bitcoin, if it's Dogecoin, if it's whatever what was the one pepe it's all better than fiat there is a common goal here with cryptocurrencies and maximalism and and this type of tribalism that happens when emotions are involved it's really distracting furthermore if you are really such a big fan of bitcoin which don't get me wrong toby and i absolutely are we're not maximalists 
of any coin, but we are huge fans of Bitcoin and we believe in its staying power. We believe in its ability to continue to thrive despite any kind of competition that comes out there. And that's my encouragement to anyone who's a Bitcoin maximalist who thinks, you know, man, Bitcoin Cash really did a really did dirty to Bitcoin. The reason the very fact that there was a contentious hard fork that resulted in Bitcoin Cash and all the other Bitcoin versions that now exist, it's a perfect example of the exercise of competition, of being able to think outside of the group, to push the boundaries, to search for a better solution, and to try that, to put it into practice. That is my friend, is what benefits all of us in the long run. Because Bitcoin was not the first cryptocurrency that was ever attempted, but it was the most successful. And who's to say there won't be a more successful version in the future? That's my encouragement for you. Be secure in what you're investing in, but be open-minded to what, how, what other solutions can exist in the future. Okay, enough about that. Now let's talk about CZ. He was sentenced to... Does this look familiar to anyone from, I guess it goes, he goes like this, uh, from CZ and his tweets? Yes, four. Everything's okay? No, four months. He got four months in prison, which is kind of crazy because the Department of Justice wanted three years. And 18 months was actually the normal sentence time, sentence uh, duration for the charges that were brought against him. He got four months. So maybe the judge was a fan of CZ and he was like, you know what, I'm going to throw him a bone. I can give him four months. Uh, who is CZ's defense team? That's probably highly sought after as well. Keep in mind, he did plead guilty as well. So that might have lent to a reduced sentence. So four months, we'll see where CZ's at. In the meantime, uh, we're going to keep on holding Dan Held, also an unfortunate last name. Hopefully he's still holding and he didn't actually held like he sold previously. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Check out learningcrypto.com to see even more specifically what we are doing with our cryptocurrencies. Highly recommend it. See you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.